everyone welcome to or welcome back to my channel I'm Jen I post videos three times a week and today's video I'm going to be testing out the tones for brunettes California orange by revolution revolution have brought out lots of non-permanent hair dyes great for brunettes and they do also have a range for blondes as well and this is going to be today's video I'm going to be putting these on my hair to see how it reacts so I hope you enjoy watching this video please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and let's get straight into this hair video so these were very kindly gifted to me from someone from Revolution but all opinions will be my own. If you've watched my previous hair testing videos you know I am very honest. I will tell you if something's not good. So the colour I have is the Californian Orange. These are £6 each and I have two just to make sure it covers all of my hair. My hair is a kind of medium length. So as you can see currently my hair is a very faded coppery ginger colour and of course if I was going to pick out the blondes and brunettes range I'd obviously pick the tones for brunettes because that's meant to be like a stronger pigment so it can seep through the brown colour. So these are non-permanent colour conditioner and glosses. Each one is 150ml and they are also vegan and cruelty free which is amazing. So these apparently can wash out between 2 to 15 washes. I'm presuming because my hair is quite light anyway it's not a dark brown or anything like that. I'm presuming it will actually last a quite a few washes with these. I have seen my friend Finn also test these on her channel. She also used the Californian Orange and her hair went so bright so I can't wait to see how it reacts on my hair. Let's get straight into testing these. So I have my bowl, I have my brush. I've also got some gloves. Now the only downfall I would say about this product it just comes in this tub it doesn't come in a box it doesn't come with like gloves or anything now i know that this will definitely stay in your hands if you don't have gloves i know a lot of people don't normally have gloves in the house unless it's like washing up gloves so if you know that you're going to be using these or trying it out definitely pick up some gloves you can pick them up from like ebay amazon or maybe even poundland look in there but i'm very intrigued to see what this is going to be like i just think it's really affordable it's a lot cheaper than your normal hair tone or hair dye so i've just split my hair into two it says to apply this on to clean hair but my hair is roughly a day and a little bit old I really like putting hair dye normally on really greasy hair it does soak in a lot better I think what I already really like about this is how I don't know how well you can see it's filled right to the top so there's no air in it or anything like that it is filled to the brim which is actually what I really like in hair dye I like knowing I get a good amount of product so let's just push this in to the bowl I might need someone to help me because I'm not the strongest at getting out product. So I've just emptied it out. I've emptied both of them in as much as I can. And it has filled this bowl quite well. It does look like a lot of product actually. Even though the bottles are quite small. So I'm going to now apply this to the underlay of my hair first. Trying to ignore this little piece here. I'm just going to take small sections and then run it through with my fingers. I'm gonna run from my given disaster away from the holy mind pride that's where i never thought it would matter if i'm gone by now all my weakness keep on linger linger on on repeat like it will be my favorite song oh i know i should be moving moving on but you got me good you got me good i keep on trying and keep on driving and driving along the road to never end as my head of Hilma's back between the jars and bottle jug just me and all the red lights keep on driving and driving is now on and of course I actually managed to get it still on my arms and my hands 
I don't know how I did that, I had gloves on, but I still managed to do that. Anyway, so this is what the colour's looking like. On my hair, it actually looks quite red, but obviously on my scalp, you can see that it is like a really darker, bright orange colour. I'm going to leave this now for 30 minutes. I am actually going to go put a bag on my head just to make sure it's not drying out, and it's just so it processes properly, and then I'll be back once my hair is wet, just to show you what the colour looks like. So I'll see you in half an hour. I'm fresh out of the shower now, and this is what the hair colour looks like in some parts. I think it looks really red like I have aerial hair and then other parts I think it looks really like bright orange but I'm going to it dry it quickly and I'll show you what it looks like dry This is what my hair looks like dry. As you can see, it is a very bright orange. Nearer to my roots, it goes into a kind of reddy color, which I actually really like. That was the part where my ginger was a bit darker and more orange. So it still has taken it really well to the top. It hasn't taken it well to my roots. So my roots are only a dirty blonde color and they've actually not touched them at all, even though I did put lots of dye there. So I'm quite surprised on that. So I'd be very surprised if the Californian orange actually works on brown hair because my Mine's technically a dirty blonde and it just didn't pick up at all but I do really love the colour. I can't believe how bright it is. I didn't think it would go this bright. I'm going to go curl my hair and put my makeup on just so you can see a completed look from me and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay so I am back. This is my hair curled. I absolutely love it curled. I think it really makes the colour stand out really well and I just love adding a little bit of texture to my hair. So this is the finished makeup look as well. I've done my makeup done my hair and I do feel really nice. I actually really love this colour. I might use it again just to refresh the colour in my hair. I do really love it. I love the kind of brighter orange look which I didn't think I'd be a huge fan of at first but I actually really like it. So as long as it lasts really well then I'm definitely going to be keeping this. So this is the end result. When I washed my hair I didn't use anything. I just used a tiny bit of conditioner just so I could run the brush through my hair after I got out of the shower. So I just used a little bit of conditioner. So it's says not to use anything with it. I think half an hour is plenty of time for the hair dye to develop and stay on your hair. So yeah, this is my completed look with the Californian Orange Revolution hair tones for brunette. I can't wait to be using it more in the future. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye!